This is my Gamma Scout versus the Strontium 90 Beta Source. This is what happens if you only have the Alpha Shield in place. But even for just gamma radiation, it will still be about twice or three times background at least. Even more, but there's great fluctuation as you can see. But of course, it penetrates the plastic even better. So I really need a beta shield. This is my beta shield, just made from lead. And you will see, there's not very much of a reading from the strontium 90 source. There's a bit of a reading, but I suppose that's the inevitable Bremsstrahlung breaking radiation. You can see it slightly above background. If I take it away again. Ah, oh, that was random. <laughs> zero, it's certainly not zero. Well, it happens. Background radiations are really random in my place. They sometimes go up to 0.4 microsievert, even in this area. But you can see the shielding works rather well. This is my torbonite from Congo. You can see it's pretty big. But you can see with the shield in place, it's not all that hot. If I take that off, however, You can see it's about double, I suppose, because of the betas or weaker gammas penetrating plastic. Still a very nice specimen, I think. Now let's try this nice black pitch blender load. up to 50 microsieverts. And without the shield again. Well, it's almost 100 microsieverts. Now here's a slightly larger piece of pitch blender. It's really nice because it feels warm to touch. And my hands are rather cold as well, but normally stone feels colder than my hands and this one feels really nice and warm.
and you can see we have just up to 150 micros even. Depends on the area of course. Let's try another. Let's see what that is. Well, it's weaker. And now we'll have the ceiling again. On about the same spot. This here is my best piece of pitch blender, very rich. About 250 as you can see, probably. About the ceiling. You can see it's like four hundred microsieverts. Nope, doesn't get any more than that. 